Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And this video is about setting for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond with Yuzo and Litter. So as you can see guys, I have two versions, Yuzo and Litter. I have simple version, Yuzo and Litter. And I have Yuzo Ally Access. Guys, you can face uh, any issue for this game in Yuzo like uh, black screen graphics glitches and audio issue and low fps and many other issues so in this video i'll show you how can you fix this issue for this game and you so and it so let's get started so guys if you want to play this game with normal version of user emulator so i have normal version of user so you can play this game uh, in this user emulator with OpenGL, so I have already uh, selected OpenGL and uh, go to emulation for more settings. If you want to play this game uh, with OpenGL in Yuzo, so go to graphics and uh, check this option. Select OpenGL and select and select CPU video decoding if. CPU video recording does not work and go to advanced and check this option uh, use vsync opengl only and uncheck this option and check this option and go to general and check this option multicore CPU emulation so it's very important for more FPS with this game on Yuzo and Ether. So it's very important and go to CPU and check this option select auto click ok now go to your uh, game pokemon brilliant diamond right click go to properties and go to general and check this option multi guard CPU emulation and CPU and select auto and graphics and select opengl and CPU video decoding and go to advanced graphics option and select I uh, use using OpenGL only and select high and if high option doesn't work then select normal okay but I select high and it's done guys click ok and guys if you want more FPS uh, for this game in Yuzo and later then you will have to use the user early access because the user early access is better than a normal vision of user emulator and if you want to use user early access for switch games so you can use Vulkan with this emulator because Vulkan is the best option for gaming performance in Yuzo so like Vulcan, go to emulation configuration and go to graphics and click here select Vulcan and click here select GPU recording and go to advanced and if you are using Vulcan in this emulator then uncheck this option use vsync opengl if you are using Vulcan then you will have to disable vsync option okay and select high and go to CPU and select auto general and check this option multicore CPU image and it's done guys okay and go to the game go to properties and general check this option multicore CPU emulation CPU select auto graphics and check these options and select Vulcan and GPU video decoding default and advanced graphics option select high and uncheck this option okay it's done guys okay and one more thing guys close these amulet first and go to your uh, control panel for your NVIDIA or AMD so I am using NVIDIA GPU so go to your control panel and check your uh, install driver vision if you are facing a black screen and graphics glitches uh, with uh, user emulator for switch games 
then you will have to update your drivers so I'm using driver version 496.49 and I have operating system Windows 10 Pro 64 bit and if you are facing graphics glitches and any other black screen issues then change the driver version installed in your PC because the uh, latest version drivers have some bugs and if you are facing graphics glitches uh, in use emulator for switch games with the latest drivers then you can use previous version drivers for your GPU and if you are using Windows 10 then you can use driver version 472.12 for your Windows 7 so I am using driver version 496.49 with Windows 10 Pro 64 bit so I have no issue with this driver version now I close it and I close it and I uh, guys uh, one more thing uh, I forgot to tell you about uh, uh, one more issue uh, black screen with sound uh, for this game part 1 brilliant diamond in user emulator so you can face uh, black screen with sound so as you can see guys so guys you can see I am facing black screen no character is showing guys you need latest firmware for your user emulator so I have latest firmware I show you but delete your old firmware go to name system content and register and delete everything from here delete it and go to your latest firmware and here is my latest firmware 13.1.0 copy these files and paste here and it's done go back go to your prod keys folder prod keys and here is so use latest keys for your latest firmware so i have latest prod keys and size is 12 kb and if you have 11 kb or 10 kb prod keys then update your prod keys okay now close it and restart your user emulator and i open user emulator and i play the game here we go don't worry guys this game takes some time on launching with Jizo so as you can see guys game is working please don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching bye bye